Tomorrow a vote will open for one week to decide if we stay on One Piece for another three months or if we're going to be switching to another long anime. Everyone gets a vote, one dollar and up, but don't feel like I'm pressuring for one dollar. Everything is appreciated because it all helps to keep the channel going and we're about 75% fan funded now. Hopefully see you there. First of all, Max wins. That's some godly animation throughout. Great song too. Don't worry about spoilers. I use my anime list all the time and Robin was listed as a main character so naturally I got the gist. Check out my my anime list down below by the by if you want to track my progress through One Piece. Anyway, godly OP. Seriously fantastic. Especially that panning shot. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, Sanji? Come on, brother! I've winned it during the last video, but this is longer here. Massive credit to Akimi Okamura for changing her tone and basic pronunciation to match Bon Clay's unique way of speaking. That? He showed her his chest. But figured I wouldn't show it as YouTube can be weird. But hey, we ever reach my Patreon goals, I'll literally turn off 95% of ads myself. Then I can show whatever. <laughs> that was just straight up cool as anything from Sanji. Easy win. Not running on the blowing up the palace spot. It might all be repeated movements, but the fact of the matter is that everyone down there is animated by hand. These words we never heard from Zoro at the time when they left Luffy behind. Very poignant. It's nice to know that he's A, thinking of events after this war is over, and B, already wanting to give thanks and praise to the pirates who helped end everything. That's awesome. Three quick wins here. Let's do this. Chopper is totes to adorbs. Ping. Chopper has gone a little overboard and I found that funny. Pong. Lastly, giving Usopp genuine damage continues to fit the overall realism of the crew getting properly hurt. Ping pong! <laughs> Chopper really is the greatest though, isn't he? <laughs> that response there. <laughs> oh god, that was an arrow directly through my old heart! <gasps> He's an absolute wins machine in this series, I swear. That whole scene was amazing to me. <laughs> Zoro finding Nami just in time and I dare say that's a unique ability win coming down the pipe. The damage his attack caused but also the fact that Zoro and his new swords managed to take it and not break. <laughs> I got you covered! Another new and unique ability, Oda! He's so cool, it's not even funny. He says he would have joined them way back when, had they made him leader. But instead he attacked Zoro, so he took him out. He doesn't even brag! Just so much cool! So damn cool, though! <laughs> that nice little unique looking shot right there. Ever so slight rotating shot. He's not revealed what it is yet, but he's getting a win for merely telling us this as it made me smile big time. Might look simple, but it's legit not. Like, they didn't skimp on the animation there at all. Oh my god. That is so brilliant and yet it never once occurred to me that naturally he'd find it much harder to perform any of his attacks whilst using a different body. That's genius! Nani! 
I've said it a couple times already about Bond here, but he really is unique for a villain. Definitely not your typical sort by any means. He's so weird sometimes. This was funny with Sanji and his reaction there, but most of all, I liked this unique looking zoom out shot. First of all, this was a really different kind of fight to the last, so I appreciate that massive creativity when making the manga in the first place. But secondly, I feel props should be given for these long fights, and even better is that Zoro is yet to properly start as well, so I really just enjoy so many big battles happening now. <laughs> That landing by Sanji was actually nicely done by the animators to appear like more frames than it was since he flips in the air briefly before landing. Only Sanji would do this during a battle and I love him for it. Very clever move there from Sanji-kun, but honestly what impresses me the most is the clear dedication to giving this battle its due animation-wise. Like, I can really see the quality. As you may have already guessed, that's getting max wins, and hell if I don't feel super smart for writing the last win and win number 3368 when you see how damn smooth that action was. I'm not even being funny, you want to keep on doing the same thing, you're going to keep on earning max wins. Like that is fantastic stuff honestly, I'm blown away by not just doing it once, but twice! How they did that huge, maybe final attack right here. Um, plot twist? Was that an aftershock or something from Sanji's attack, or did something else hit him? I'm so confused, but definitely take a win for the old jaw hit the floor IRL. Sanji, my boy, getting back up. I guess it was a shockwave. I'm still shocked by it now, no pun intended. <laughs> Two wins. Firstly, it's just good to see a villain type character accept defeat like this. I believe it's the first time, or at least first in a long time. Secondly, it felt good to see Sanji win. It was hard fought. It was fantastic, and best of all, it feels completely different to normal. See, I knew something was different about him right away. He's not fighting because he's a bad guy, he's fighting for his life. He's a true man among men for that right there. I already loved the dude, and yet his character rises above that to new heights with this moment, and of course the music only aids in that feeling. Even though Sanji does bonk him one more time to officially end the battle, whilst taking back Usopp's goggles, I felt like this internal monologue here scored a win for sure. Another end of battle, Jojo Styles reported that! Not only did we get this good bird's eye view, but they even animated the soldier running through the thing. Lovely art style change as Vivi recalls fond memories of her childhood that included the palace. to be kidding me! That's a great friggin, albeit annoying as anything right now, plot twist! How this isn't treated like some cartoon moment and instead he's seriously hurt? It's super quick and thus over very fast, but the shot itself looked great, taking into account the whole battle? Her reaction to hearing the fake news, showing her rage, just shows how much Luffy and all of them mean to her. As a follow up to the last win, it's also nice to see that she says this in the same vein as Usopp. Both refuse to believe it. Goodness me, that shot is even better than the one from win number 3388!
反乱軍を入り口で止めることはできなかったビビやみんなは無事なのかしらみんな I keep talking about this and they keep on giving more instances of it, but here's Nami now herself entirely out of the loop because they've been split up. So creative! The amount of detail poured into a tired i c k l e chopper face! I also want a stronger weapon! What do you mean? Not only was what I wrote true with win number 3392, but now it's even better because by splitting them up, it's lending itself towards Nami's character development by her not wanting to be weak anymore. So we see this! Also, it's nice to see another useful side to Usopp as he's relied upon here to try and make a weapon for Nami to make her feel more useful in battles. <laughs> so, to be clear, just so you all know, Luffy crawled along the floor just to do this to him. So good! Usopp, you know what I'm talking about? Just giving this a win because I really do love it when she speaks from the heart. I win ages ago, Nami having her own garden on the ship, and now all these episodes later, I'm winning his little workstation. Like, I really enjoy little details like that. Feels so lived in as a result. By the way, I like how they weren't just made super tough randomly by now. This is far, far more realistic as a result. Just a little scene that tells us without saying anything that they clearly heard them, and this probably deeply touched Luffy if I know him at all. Small win, but look at the detail in his toolbox and what's laid around it. All done by hand, and only to be shown for a single second as part of a much greater scene. So much respect to the animators. <laughs> These interactions are why I love One Piece so much. Her genuinely asking for help in such a lovely way. That's the first win. Secondly, it's Usopp hearing her and deciding to do what he can to help her in the short time they have. Brilliant scene, really. I don't know why Chopper has a bucket on his head, but it made me chuckle. But also, I guess this was Nami telling them, I'm going to have my own weapon, you won't need to protect me. Maybe? Your thoughts? This saga flat out has some of the best plot twists in the whole thing. There's been so many, and this is another such case. Another new and unique devil for ability on. Pain Tempo! Such a useless ability, but definitely take a win for her being so happy about it. <laughs> oh, okay. Until that happened. Go on, take another one for that. <laughs> Beware! They found the wind's vein! <laughs> Loving the continued realism of their princess being in danger, and so everyone is now focused on trying to get into the palace to aid her. Her ability is legit insane, no? <laughs> this is truly all credit to the animation teams. The quick changes of perspective and angle, up close and far away, Nami being the focus and then her, it's brilliant stuff and animated beautifully. She's been fairly unique during this battle herself, feeling sorry for Nami at first and her lack of power, giving back this weapon, although I'm sure she thinks it'll be useless, it's still unique. I know it's for comedy relief and it is working, but all of this has seriously got me thinking this weapon is gonna do something huge and unexpected soon. I can feel it! I typically always say Usopp and Luffy have the best reactions in the series, but honestly, that put Nami up a few places. That actually makes perfect sense since she can make spikes come out of her feet to hold her up like that. Sonic! Going first person like it's no big deal whatsoever! Not running from Sonic on the spot! 
Son of a I think you already know what the win is for, you sassy so and so's. Totally channeling her inner Usopp there after reading his actual instructions on how to use the weapon. I'm glad this was raised because it is true. She got beaten up and got into so many fights during her time as a thief. So whilst she's not Zoro strong, she's not entirely helpless either. Also though, she's looking really awesome and badass there. Two wins, firstly it's good to learn what her new weapon can actually do, that came just before this and was a little long to show. But also how this scene looked freaked me out a little, but also made me laugh as she reads instructions. <laughs> well, that was absolutely sick now wasn't it? Like I said before, to her credit, she could have potentially taken out Nami here, but instead gave her a stern warning to pay attention. I'm keeping the last win, but my god, I called that wrong. She very much was intending to take her out clearly, but thankfully it's another ability of that weapon, I guess. Hype! Very much an example of One Piece being quite a dark franchise from time to time. I've been enjoying villains like him for a long time now, where they reply like this in response to someone saying, Let the king go! Like of course he's not going to do that and he says so. Oh! Nice little twist there in the story to suddenly factor in another main goal for him at this late stage. A reason to have attempted to take over the country in the first place. Oh snap! Even better, it's a weapon! Finally, after all this time, fully coming to understand his end goals and admittedly, it's so much better than merely wanting to rule a country for the sake of it. And here we are with more realism. After the hand attack recently, they're still regrouping and again charging the gate in order to try and get to their king and princess. You gotta love that. Uda making sure that the stakes are well and truly made not only higher, but also very clear to us the viewer, so we understand what's about to happen. I'm so hyped! Where is this now? Another new element added to the anime! Oh damn, this is awesome! Uda really starting to expand the story as we come to the closing episodes of this saga and arc. I love it! See what I'm saying when I keep giving wins for the darker side of the anime being shown? Like, they aren't shying away from anything here, and the wound is getting worse as time goes on. I mean, this was so good for multiple reasons, and I just had to show the whole thing that was fantastic for multiple reasons again. The people who back then pumped out the damage type of animation have every reason to be extremely proud of what they came out with. Absolutely brilliant stuff. <laughs> She's a weird one man, I gave her wins and then she proves me wrong, and now the win I previously gave her, that of not taking out Nami when she had the chance, well she's now doing it here. Cool. I thought it was being treated as a bit of a joke, but she did actually get it back. Go on, Nami! Aqua! <laughs> Massive credit if you understand the reference, by the way. She could be really funny in stropping moments like this. 
It's a small but important win for me. That being adding some life to the inside of a home like here. Just a little bit, but it does make a big difference to me rather than it being an empty square. Toge, toge. Doping. As always, Oda doesn't just say, she can make spikes, but goes even further than that for each ability. He's so creative. All of that on top of story and characters and everything else is nuts. Honestly, between the not running on the spot quality and then the excellent looking damage effects during her attack, that's two bags wins, that is. <laughs> Usopp really showing his bravery by saying he still wants to fight with everyone in spite of the shape he's in. Brilliant! Now Sanji is caught up with them and both having won their battles. So nice of Sanji that the first thing he does is return his goggles. Man, what a guy, seriously! No word of a lie, the way he did that voice acting right there made me feel so sad for him. For real! <laughs> yes! They didn't just say it for the sake of it when I winned it a while back. The reinforcements really have started to turn up. I don't care, Sanji gets another win for pure awesomeness in the second degree. Even whilst injured and having been in a massive fight, he still wants to go and help Vivi right away. True legend! When I was a kid, I watched Dragon Ball Z, but as much as I enjoyed it, I felt like it dragged, for example, Cell and Freezer's battles, but what Oda has done is make the battles totally not drag in the same way. Excellent end to the battle there, well thought out and well executed, plus her voice acting was top notch on being hit by it, like really good, so take Max wins for that, well done. Nani? The sheer volume of plot twists in this one is, well it's staggering to be honest. Seeing all of the things that have happened during the course of this arc, to build this drive in Nami to do right by Vivi, from her saving her life to making the promise to save this country with her. <laughs> Firstly, easy win for cracking good voice acting there from Nami. These Japanese dubs never cease to amaze me in quality. <laughs> Secondly, it's her taking on the attack in order to get her close to fire off the big shot, in spite of taking serious damage in doing so, but comparing it to what Vivi's going through was a nice touch. Lastly, it's the start of this final attack. First looking like a joke attack again, but slowly pulling us into going, oh hell yeah, something big is happening. There we have it, the final attack. It also makes perfect sense why Usopp said it's an all or nothing attack, since if you're not close, it'll utterly fail and knock you back yourself. I just thought it was nice for her to give credit and basically thanks to Usopp after winning. And there's another after action report to finalize her win. Quick win for the fact that we've still got arguably the greatest fight yet to happen. But also this statement from Zoro sounding, you likely guessed it, insanely cool. I'm sensing the big obstacle in this battle and I think I can safely assume that's what Zoro is going to work towards during this heated battle, cutting steel bruh! Nani? 
俺がお前に勝った時俺は鋼鉄でも切れる男になってるわけだ I love that dude is like what are you gonna do then Zoro said basically I feel sorry for you because I'm gonna be trying to cut steel on you He's so cool 剣士と名乗る者に傷一つつけられたことはない過去にどれほどの剣士と戦ってきたのかは知らねえが If he thought Zoro was the kind of lad to be deterred by the fact that no one has been able to beat him up till now well he's got the wrong dude I bet the personal people who created the Sanji and Bon Clay fight also did this one. You can sense the same fluid style of animation coming off of it, I think. For me here, this was clever because it totally felt as though the facial expressions were telling us that he is feeling pain fighting Zoro in spite of his earlier claims. Typically, I'm not the biggest fan of these kinds of things in anime, but there's something about when Zoro does it that leaves me captivated. This very simple method of making the viewer be worried and likely impressed. Him using the same line that Zoro used himself earlier was a nice touch. Such a good way to show us how insanely powerful this foe is in terms of raw power. Just glad it's Zoro taking him on and not like Usopp or someone. Can't lie, I really don't like seeing Zoro clearly injured like this. A first since Arlong after Mihawk. What a great time for some background again on Zoro. Even better is that Oda hasn't done it for everyone. Nami reflected a bit upon herself, but everyone else was just fighting for their lives. Also, it's been a long time, so baby Zoro! My god, what a beautiful and powerful statement there from him. There are people who can't cut anything, who can also cut anything, because it's about finding that power within themselves when they need it. And there's your follow-up to the statement. Shows what a kind and gentle man he was. I missed that music as well that often plays during backstories. Got me kind of emotional, to be honest. Even though Zoro misunderstood the statement, I thought it was real nice to again include her like this. Would be very silly to skip over Zoro lifting half an empty house off himself, wouldn't it? Already hitting the message on the head by showing how he, the bad guy, is exactly the type of person his sensei was talking about all those years ago. Zoro is the opposite, or trying to be here. Stupidly great looking damage animation! By the way, this entire fight is basically showing that if he was a normal human, Zoro would 100% wipe the floor with the guy! Beautiful win to a prior one where I said about Oda giving them abilities and in different ways of using them, such as this. Definitely the hardest fight for Zoro since Mihawk and thus making me proper nervous right now. Also same as an earlier win again, this time where I praised how enemies and our allies attack and don't just chat, Zoro was open for a second and he struck right away. The brilliance of One Piece and its massive size. The fight he's thinking about was nearly 100 episodes ago. Insane! <laughs> this just became the number one JoJo situation in the whole thing. How on earth can he pull victory out from this? As angry as he makes me, basically being a cheat, not walking on the spot still needs a win. So awesome and most of all unexpected that it's getting two max wins. Wow!
石の落ちてこねえ場所が This is so much better! I thought he'd literally just lift throw it, but trust Oda to make it deeper than that. Do can even sense where his swords are now! Making this an experience he's felt before and then referencing all of those times he was close to death. The very high quality of animation on this scene. Such a good showcase of what his teacher was talking about, only cutting what he wants to cut. Purely and simply, this looks too damn good to not give a win to. <laughs> Gotta give it max wins. It wasn't even flashy, because it was on purpose. It's like he's one with nature, feeling everything in the moment and just cut through the target. A thing of serene beauty. <laughs> How the end to the battle was handled in much the same grace as the final attack itself. A well deserved final after action report for Zoro there. Such a great ED, one of the best songs yet, really reminded me of the old Sonic games and their music from like Sonic CD onwards, and the visuals were really pleasant and relaxing too. Loved that one! Three episodes later, and these guys are still doing their damn duty and taking a crack at getting the door open, having now finally gotten through it. <laughs> Genuinely shocked that at this late stage in the game, Oda suddenly introduced new characters. It proves their loyalty that these men drank a liquid that would end them in mere minutes, all in order to try and save their king. And I must say, sadly, I feel they'll have done that in vain. If I'm right, and they're not going to be around much longer at all, then it's all the more impressive that we're showing some flashback for them, like mourning their nation as we see here. The saddest thing about this is that he doesn't even fight them, to give them an honourable death. He just dodged in essence and then sat up there. <laughs> <laughs> Giving them a win in their honour, but also because they were only on screen for all of three minutes, and yet I did find myself feeling sorry for them and what they did. That's well played. <laughs> Seeing his Devil Fruit ability now, who'd have thought they'd both be able to transform? I mean, him and the other Royal Guard. <laughs> At this point, I'm just once again left thinking to myself, will it even be possible to take him out at all? It's nice to know that A, he's still okay, and B, he's still very much thinking of the others in this moment. I liked this because in my mind it's the reason why Sanji has mentioned Usopp so many times, because he did take this request seriously in the end. Chopper being totally cute at the top there? But also Lasher's being kind enough, in spite of him being a dude, to give good old Usopp a ride whilst injured. What a good camel! <laughs> Ah, that's the reason he was crying during the last two wins. Bless his heart! <laughs> Sanji continues to be awesome as he kinda mocks them for believing that Luffy could be taken out, but on the other hand, it makes me like him even more because he still has such faith in his captain. <laughs> Then I just had to drop one more for them both saying so aggressively that of course they didn't believe her. Oh, 
ナミのやつはうまく逃げたのか。I am love, love, loving all these flashbacks. To my mind, tying them all together as a crew, tighter than ever, as they're all thinking about one another right now. Absolutely brilliant. やっと取れた。一発限りの大技って、こういうことだったのね。Just like I wrote for the last win, now getting to see Nami who is thinking about Usopp in regards to the weapon. Not running to help Vivi on the spot! So, Vivi, I'm going to go to the next one. 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 I'm going to go to What a lovely thing to do this episode, to concentrate so much on the moments before they got into this series of battles the last few episodes. Some really fond and calming moments in there. Sadly, gotta drop him a win for trying his best, but most of all, it's making the situation as helpless as can be. So when something happens, it'll be even more awesome. Baby! <gasps> ah, you see what I'm saying? No idea whose foot that is, but they're there, and it shocked Vivi. Let's go! Oh, now that's a great bloody plot twist, isn't it? Who would have thought that Koza would suddenly turn up there? So good to show this from Koza's view because immediately it becomes clear that what he thought was happening is dead wrong in pretty much every way. Look at all the detail on this sword for such a short moment of it being shown up close. <laughs> This moment only holds so much weight because of all the backstories we've seen. It really shows that in his mind, he's considering how potentially everything he's done has been a mistake. I know she was about to answer, but I'm glad this was said so soon. So many times people are asked a simple question, but they take 30 seconds to get it out of their mouths. Isn't that just a beautiful moment? Because he's right away, in spite of everything, being motivated by the words of his king. The man had all but given up hope on following. That was powerful stuff, man. Sadly, it seems he's been taken out, but that gets a win for how he himself did what he could to further motivate Koza after the king's words to protect the people. I adored this moment because to me it meant that she still had utter faith in the overall plan, in her friends making it there successfully and helping her finish the mission. A whole bunch of not running on the spots! That was well done, going slow motion, Crocodile's voice actor just prior, and of course Shaka coming in to save her. So good! Excellent and poetic symbolism right there. So, how's it These kinds of flashbacks are also so warmly welcomed by me. It further builds that bond between him and the royals, and most of all, Chaka here who taught him, who is now risking his life for them. So much animation they didn't have to do! Very decent way of giving us an update on the soldiers' situation right now by using their communications. Been a little while since I last did this win, but look how everyone looks different! So much animation that it legit stunned me for a few seconds. Like, the amount of animation required to produce that, and then to do so in a weekly anime, well, it just deserves two max wins. What a genuinely brilliant scene. Back to back wins, everyone from the Rebels side looking different too, they deserve the same win. But also making this packed crowd in the first place. It's just so rare in modern anime. So many corners are cut. I know why, but it's still lovely to see it done like this. 
This view from the rear gets one too, especially when you factor in the great realism of more soldiers turning up to the traffic jam from behind all the time. I was going to skip that and move on and then I thought no, someone worked on that. Someone created it and it deserves respect and honour for the work. Take that win. Ah, more fighting. Oh my god. I can't believe what just happened. That's getting Max wins for a massive, massive plot twist. That guttural scream, one of the best and likely most straining in the entire 120 episodes to date. Oh, that visual mixed with the words from the past and that almost childlike music really hits you in the gut. So much credit to him that even in this moment he's still pleading with them to stop the fight. As painful as it is, I gotta give credit to his evil plan. Like, at all points in time, it was well thought out, including this here now. Oda really is so smart. This constant reminder of what's about to go down is nicely done and at decent intervals. Dropping one here for the scenes of battle as well, it's been perfect these past few episodes, clearly no corners being cut at all. They do an excellent job of making Vivi seem so hopeless, like there's nothing she can do when there's so many people so far away and they're all fighting. Also though in that same vein she's now nearing her wits end, just everything seems to be falling apart. Every time you make a plan it fails, must be the height of frustration. It's good to see how her father was still trying to control the situation. He saw the plan fail and chuck a fall just now, and so his first thought is to try and keep her safe. Like our hero, she is cut from the same cloth. Even when all seems hopeless, she picks herself back up again and continues to refuse to give up. Go on, Vivi! She is so damn brave and awesome in this moment. Really decent view of the whole city pretty much. Bit too long to show it all but I wanted to show this as it shows how evil he is that he taunted her like this prior to her end. In his mind anyway. <laughs> Hot damn, that was an amazing time for them to re-enter the story. Just when all hope seemed to be lost, and it's not just Luffy, but the very strong Pell too. Let's friggin' go! <laughs> Luffy! How the rescue was carried out and even better was the realism of getting to her just prior to hitting the floor. I really love it when Luffy has this really serious side to himself like here. That just made me smile. Big time! He's so amazing in times like these where the moment really counts. He never lets anyone down when it really matters. So sick, two wins. Firstly, Zoro was back up and about. I genuinely thought he'd be counted out for the rest now. Secondly, he's so awesome that he's able to carry Nami even in this state. Oh, he seriously knows how to hype me up so much. Best and most cute reaction of all time! Oh, 
Oh, it's so sweet that they're all so happy to see he's okay. Bless your heart too, Usopp. Also though, without skipping a beat, Chopper again believes him. The whole crew being back together in this moment. I swear the convos are never made up of tropes. Sanji says predictable thing A, Zoro replies predictable thing B. Sanji's is more predictable, but who the thought Zoro would casually reply with that? <laughs> Obligatory chopper is the cutest thing to ever exist when. <laughs> Luffy really is one of the best anime characters of all time, and this music only helps that feeling grow in me. <laughs> this for me was as badass as the walk to Arlong's castle. You know the famous one, especially with the explosions in the background. So damn awesome. <laughs> Oh, that nearly had me tearing up. She was so close to losing all hope, so close to being taken out herself, and now mere minutes later, they're all there, and Luffy is back, baby. Hmm. My literal out loud reaction, oh ho ho! I don't know how he did it, but he did it, and I was freaking out, no joke. No joke, and two max wins. This is like nothing else, because he seems so invincible in their first fight, so to see Luffy landing some big hits just feels unbelievable. Ah, uh, that's so clever! It never even hit me at the time. Oda is legit like a Raki in this regard. Pair of geniuses! <laughs> So cool! Luffy looking so cool! Darth Weirdo, Mal Liao, Nick Windham, The Elementator Wars, Christopher Willis, Emmanuel Gonzalez, Fancy Turtle, Kepan, Mini Masher, Marquez, Nazomi, Orkeeper, Otter A. Bodonisi, Steelers, The Epic Commander, Bird Without a Word, Brandon Creer, Brian Bayot, Cameron, Christian Tuasa, Commander Chris, Doggos for Life, Dragonstorm 35, Aaron Winters, Guru Guru, I Am Here, James Tafoya, Your Edvinson, Kevin Elston, Comfoyk, Kylie Wobb, Lisa Marie Timp, Luis Minito, Magnus, Mr. Mansu, Lightly Winter, Peter Milligan, Ruby Rose, Satakayari, Zion 44, Sean, The 100s, Tiger Lily Warrior, Sumi Bito, A Joker, Alexander Schwartz, Ali 50, Amadillo, Brainless Ben, Cecilia, Cedric, Cloud Garden, Dante Soul, Dark Lord Bloody Soul, Def the Kid123, Devon, Dragon Defender, Esso, Garrett Vermish, Gibbs, Hoof to Lose Ritter, Israel Caldera, Jason Davies, John John, Jaffa6263, Kelnock, Kevin Nelter, Kevink102, Knuckle Duster, Kai158, Kyle Jones, Laxor, Laxus, Liam Gagati, Lifty, Lionel Schultz, Marvin, Matthew Blancet, Michael Lewis, Modiverum, Monty, Mudini, Mr. Firecall, Natsu Dragneel, Nick Monaco, Nick Pell, 1928, Ollie the Mighty, Oliver Smiley Reacts, Oscar I. Lopez, Owen Haloran, Q Flash, Ryan DeVries, Sarcastic Truth, Snow, Stan, Storm970, TRS, The Danish Muggle, Thrasher340, Vernon Hogan, Will Sass, Willyman, 